guys, welcome to a Monster High review, and today we have Skultinate Secrets Neon Threads Twyla. So this is really exciting because not only is this my first G3 Twyla, but it's my first Skultinate Secrets. And I haven't gotten any of them because, well, look at the copy, it's so big, but I can use it for doll storage. And I could not pass up the deal I got Target because they've been having Target Circle Week. I actually have a picture of the cool display that they had there and you get awesome deals at Target Circle but there are more deals than ever. It's the biggest sale of the season and you can see that it went from July 7th to the 13th. When I'm filming this it is the 12th so it ends tomorrow but for you guys watching it's already RIP but there it is it's cool and there is Twyla and she was 50% off of that. Online she is $10.49, which is better, but I didn't mind paying $15 for her. At least she was under $20, bucks. so I am glad to finally have her, and here she is. You can't see her, so I'm a little worried about her being wonky. That's another reason why I didn't want to give Skulls the Secrets, but that is okay. I hope she's good, but here she is, Ms. Twyla herself, and there are 125 plus looks. There she is, the amazing artwork. Yes, Twyla, amazing. And then it says Glow in the Secrets, Neon Brights right there. And then it says Glow in the Dark. Ooh, phosphorescent. 19 plus surprises inside. There's 18 parts, which is a lot, but you can see they're all contained in these little secret compartments. And then here is the side. It's kind of plain. And then the other side is also kind of plain. And then the top is also plain. And the top is also plain. But if you go to the back, that's where the real good stuff is. So you can see Monster Hat Neon Fresh right there. And then it has the 125 looks and possible doll inside. Because if there was not a doll, this would be a little disappointing. <laughs> but there is everyone here. There's Draculaura. They had like two of her at Target. Torlai, they had none of her at Target. Frankie, they had three of them at Target, and Twyla, they had none of them at Gulia. <laughs> they didn't have any at Gulia, but they had three of Twyla, so there you go. They had, like, half of this crew there, and then there's the boring bottom. Oh, it says one doll in many languages, and what is that right there? Okay, that is the key. I guess you're supposed to put it in water. I don't know if I want to do that. I guess I might have to experience the magic of key water. <laughs> but let's get her open. Kitty's here. Look, hi kitty. We're just going to open Twyla. Do you want to open Twyla with us? You look like you've had some num-nums. Yeah? Oh, alright. We'll open Twyla with a snap snap right after letting Kitty help. A few moments later. Alright, now it's finally time to see her. Oh my goodness. Finally. After all this time, I have a Skullsman Secrets doll. Do I even need to snip this out? <laughs> I guess I don't, because... Oh, well, I'm just going to rip it anyways. That's fine. Okay. Oh, and then there's some more up here. And there's tape up there that I did not notice down there. Come on. That's... Uh, snip that tape away. And there we go. All right, yay. Oh, here is the Capion. It's really cool. I really like this design. Look at that. It's like the skull, but okay, this opened. <laughs> there's the skull, but it's got textures on it. And there's like that in the background, all these Twyla shades and stuff. It's really cool. And one of them already opened, so you don't need the keys. But there's what's inside, little thing. Can you not do like that? Okay, yes, you can lock it by yourself, which is cool. And this is open too. All right, oh, and then the top's open. Oh my goodness. There we go. And then it's just, ooh, there's a spider web and Monster High on it. Whoa, that's cool. Okay, so I really hope I don't get a wonky Twilight. There she is! Oh my goodness, Twyla! She looks great, although her bangs are a little small, but that's okay. But you can see here is her locker. It's got a whole bunch of little 
details on there and it's swinging but look at that there's a ghost right there and then there's a bunch of stuff right there like there's a library card and ooh fear book ooh this is 2011 on there whoa and then there's a book called intro to talesmans and then no oh, talismans <laughs> and then there is a cool pop tart which i think is from a creepover and that looks like a wall charger oh there are her little earbuds right there they're charging up yay and then on this shelf we have some photos of her and all her stuff and then there's a DD &D game and it's game night so yay and then she's got a bunch of stuff on the little wall there and there's an apple with a little snake and ooh she has the Monster High collection. It looks like she has the Lisey Harrison books. Wow! Wonder how that works into the universe. But down there is a playing guide of the D&D game, and there's a cup, and there's papers, and there's like the little die right there, and then there's all this other stuff here. And is that a little poppet? Whoa. And there's a lava glass, and oh my goodness, there's her lantern. And then there is a little ghost. Oh, is that ghost reading the book? It's a ghostie reading a book! Oh my goodness! And there's a spider? Whoa, what is that? There is an eye right there. <laughs> and then there's a Rubik's Cube, which you already saw, of course. And then there's Thickonometry, I think I said. And the story of Monster High. We gotta return that to Manny. And then there is Dustin. And then there's still more! There's some spooky cookies! Wow! And some yummy drinks and donuts and scrumptious. Oh, and there's a wall charger. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on this locker. It's really cool. And now, Twyla is in here. Ooh, she is sealed to the box and there is a key down there. So she looks cool. Although her bangs are a little sad, but that's fine. At least her face is not wonky. That is what matters most. So, all right, let's see here. Let's get all right, and she has poly hair, R.I.P., but I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Come on, Twilight. Please get out of the box. I don't want to have to take this cardboard stuff out, because it looks really cool. Okay, come on. Oh my goodness. Uh, we tell it? There we go. Thank you. Oh my goodness. All right, so there is. The back, look at that. We gotta get the key out. All right, Mr. Key, there you go. The key that does not work. But there is the background. It's really, really cool. It's got like sparkles on it and blue and purple. And there's a bunny and ghosty and a heart. It's, oh, and there's cobwebs up there. Ooh, it's cool. And it comes with the instruction sheet. And I guess all the stuff you can get with spoiler alert. But let's get her stuff open, even though, oh, there's a little dance bar right there, cool. Even though it's already technically open, but there's the key to unlock everything. I think there are multiple keys, even though there should just be one. That would be fine. One key to rule them all. Okay, here is the key. It's a little skull right there, and it's very nice. And now, let's open the first one. All right, there we go. We have our first little surprise in a blue baggie. Oh, and it just tears right out, perfect. All right, ooh. Okay, so this, and there's another key. I'm just gonna use the same key. No offense to the keys, but that right there. And we have her outfit and some cardboard. All right, so this is her extra outfit here. There you go. And ooh, it's the hoodie, is it? Yeah, it is the hoodie. There's a hole right there, but you can see it's teal and it's got, oh, ooh, bunnies. You can see through them, but little plasticky stuff. And it's really, really soft. And then there is some black ruffles down there and it's really, really nice. It's cool. And it's got the sleeves, there's mesh, and the skirt is this kind of like fake leather stuff. And it's got eyes on it. Whoa, spooky. So there is that. Now, next compartment up here. Come on. 
be deep. There you go. All right. Now, this compartment has probably yet another key inside there. I do not want the keys. So, goodbye. Oh, purse. There's a purse. Okay. Goodbye, key in here. Go away forever. And we have Twyla's purse. It's teal and it's got a spider web on it. It's really cool. Ooh, got some gems on there. And it does not open. That is fine though, because it's so tiny. And now, the next thing down here. <laughs> Try to go. There you go. All right. Oh, and it closes. I like how you don't need the keys to open the doors. But here is the next thing. And there you go. And this. Ooh. It's your accessories. Yay. All her little, and her shoes. Okay. Now, let's see the accessories. And of course, there's the key. Oh, wait, this is a different color. Oh, this is a different color. Wow, this is darker. I'm keeping this key because it's cool. Okay, so she has this little thing. What is this? Is this a bracelet for you? Oh, what is it? I don't know what this is, but she has it. Can it go on your wrist? Let's see. Yes, it can. I don't think that's what it's for, though. I don't know. But anyways, the shoes. Look at them. They're so cool. They're black, and they have little bitty details on there. Oh, spiders. Ooh. And then teal laces, and look at that. Detailed bottoms. Oh my gosh, whoa. She has, like, books on the bottom of her shoes and maps and stuff. Wow. Oh, so it's quiet, please. That's nice. So she doesn't have to tell anyone. She can just shove them her foot. <laughs> and then she has this little shirt. Oh, it says Dream on it. And there's Dustin and a bunny. It's nice. And then, put all this stuff over here. I should probably look at the little booklet. Even though it is kind of spoilers, but I need to know what is this thingy. Okay. So, here is the booklet. It does not tell me anything about that, <laughs> but it's got the instructions on how, oh, it's a key, oh, it's a key ring. <laughs> okay, it's got the instructions. All right, that explains it. It could be a bracelet for a teeny small child. All right, that makes, I don't want to put them on the key ring. I don't need the key ring. <laughs> That's fine. But we have the last one. Let's use this one because it kind of blends in there. And the last little bag in the setup. And it is ooh, the lantern. And the book. And oops, there's no key anymore, but that's fine. There's the accessories. Yay! So she has this little plate of cookies. They look scrumptious. There's some ghosts and eyes, oh, chocolate chip eyes, and a little spider web, yummy. And then she has this really cool lantern. There is a little bitty candle inside of there. It's pink. And then there is purple on the outside. It's really glittery. And ooh, there's patterns on there. It's extremely nice. And then she has her book. There's a cobweb on the back with Monster High, just like on the back of here. And it's called Shadows, ooh, spooky. And the inside has some stuff in there. Look at that. You can see some of the pros of what she's reading, her shadows. And there you go. That is everything that Twyla comes with. And I'm excited to use this as doll storage for my Monster High stuff, because it's in the Barbie case, but you know, you could use its own separate case. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, Twyla, yes, we have to look at Ms. Twyla, of course. All right, the star of the show, here she is. Her bangs are really, really tiny, but they are what they are. She looks a little worried, but that is perfect for Twyla. And she does look a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> that is Twyla. She has poly hair, RIP, but it still looks really nice. And, ooh, where were her headphones? I don't know where her headphones were. But anyways, there she is. And she has little 
buttons in her eyes. Oh, it's so cool. It's like Coraline. No way! Da -da 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 -da. And she has really nice black, dark purple lips. And then there is the hair. It's okay. It's decent. It's poly. It's scary. But that is fine. And she has a really nice outfit. It's got these plastic suspenders with Dustin on there. They're a little bulky, but they're still pretty cool. There's little buttons on the top. And then let's, ooh, look at the back. Let's take this off because I want to see what she looks like without it. Probably much improved. Oh, there you go. She is wearing a crop top, Twyla. Oh my gosh. It's got a little black bow and it's teal with some flowers and some swirl. Ooh, that ghosties. Oof, that's swirls. I thought this was a little ghosty. No, it's a leaf. <laughs> but that would have been cool though if you had ghost patterns. And then she has a little leather kind of skirt. It's shiny. And her shoes are really cool. They have bunnies on the top. And then the really long boots. Ooh, and there's detail on there. That looks cool. Wow. And they have like plastic to protect them. Where the legs have plastic. And look at the little details on Twyla. Her little legs. Wow. Amazing. All right. So let's try on her shoes over here with the quiet please. Oh, it's not going on. Oh my gosh. There you go. They're on now. They're actually really nice shoes. I like them a lot. Look at that. They look so good on her. Yay. And we're also going to be trying on the other outfit. So here we go. I think I found the missing stuff. Yes, there are little earbuds or the things she uses to block out sound because sometimes she does not like the loud sounds. And so there we go. They are really small and tiny. Look at those. But they're going to go inside her ears or on her ears. And I've got to do this off camera so we can get a good look. All right, there we go. Many, many minutes later. These refuse to go in, so I guess, I don't know, she'll have to plug her little ears, but that's okay. All right, where is the other bag? Let's see. Is there anything in here? Okay, I don't feel anything in there. I'm just checking the other bag just to make sure there's nothing else. I don't know where her necklace is, but do I really need a doll necklace? I don't think so. <laughs> But okay, that was crazy. Anyways, I got a cute Twyla in her other outfit. So, let's just do that. Ooh, goodbye to the tank top. Taking that off. Ooh, her hands. Look at her arms. They have little swirlies on there. That is so cool. Oh, and I have my very first Twyla. She is watching this review from the doll shelf. I will be getting her where is she? I don't know there's your shirt I will be getting her and we will be showing her with the new Twyla I don't have a G2 Twyla I almost wish I did because Twyla's awesome but you know what G2 is not awesome <laughs> for, for the most part okay I'm glad her hands are rubbery because she needs to squish those fingers into these little sleeves and there is one more little Bitty sleeve squish, squish those fingers into the holes. Oh my gosh! Come on, Twilight, you want to wear your shirt because it's so cool. There we go. Aww, oh my goodness, this is actually really nice. Aww. There she is with the shirt. Look at that. That goes really well. That looks like a very comfortable outfit. <laughs> yes, Twyla, it is comfortable. And now it's time for the eye skirt. Halloween skirt. <laughs> this is the perfect thing for Halloween. I like how her bottoms are this really cool material. Although I worry it might crack. I don't know. 
I don't know if this is pleather or not, but come on, take off your shoes and then your pants. Okay, there we go. And the skirt, ooh, the skirt goes up all the way around. That is actually really cool because I can put her shoes on even though she's not wearing any pants. And you can just put on the skirt. <laughs> there we go. And then we're putting on the other shoe now. I hope you're enjoying the view of the locker <laughs> on the ground. And here we go. Putting on Twyla's awesome skirt. Oh, there it is. It looks cool. Look at that. That is a very nice outfit, Twyla. That is okay. We can put you in your shorts, even though we're gonna have to take off your shoes again. And then, uh, come on, put on the shorts. This is why I do not like to redress my dolls because it takes so much. They have so much to do and they can't do it themselves. <laughs> but let's just scooch your, sh oh my gosh. The same leg. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I thought it was a skirt for a second there. I do not know why. I guess it kind of reminds me of Gulia's skirt. The original Gulia, but with purple. Oh, there you go, Twyla. That is so cool. All right, so how about we put on your hoodie and then we'll see your original counterpart. Yay. Okay, so here is her hoodie her little arms or we can just pop off her hands let's pop off your hands Twyla so we can put on your hoodie a lot easier oh, there is one put that down there it's kind of weird to see a hand right there and then there's another hand and let's see armless handless Twyla not armless <laughs> that would be sad if she was armless so it's a good thing that the arms don't pop off, at least the upper arms. Cause Twyla needs her arms. Cause she's gonna have to put them in two armholes. Here she is, ready for the hoodie. And oh, this slips, ooh, it looks so cool, look at that. The mesh looks really cool. And her hair is not that bad. I was scared because it's Polly and Polly is scary. But this is actually pretty good. As long as it's straight hair, I think we're good with that. And then the hair goes right through that hole. This hair refuses to cooperate, but um, that's kind of what she looks like with the hoodie on. It is very, very cute. Look at that. There we go, Oh, it's really cute. This is a very nice outfit. I like it a lot. And now it's time to see your other counterpart. <gasps> dun, dun. I did some renovations. Oh, a little puppy though. There you go. But I put most chai accessories into here. Look at that. There's the clothes, accessories, and then there's brushes and bags, and then there's Twilo stuff, some Shadow High stuff in there. It is all so good, although I don't know if the bag will be able to fit in there. The bag might just have to stay in the Barbie stuff, but that is fine. And the shoes will have to stay in the Barbie stuff too. Or maybe they could go in here. Because I don't think Twilight's going to be like in here. Maybe. There you go! But this is the main reason why I want to get Skullsman Secrets. Not just because of Miss Twyla, but for the doll storage! It is awesome! And now! Without further ado, let me introduce you, Ms. G3 Twyla, to G1 Twyla with her extremely wobbly, weird legs. Yup, and a really short skirt. Yeah, look at that. My second ever Monster High doll. And I actually dressed up as Twyla for Halloween in fifth grade. No one knew who I was, which is sad, but I still treasure that memory because of Miss Twyla. You can see she has been well loved throughout the years. And now here, whoa, <laughs> I did not expect that, okay? Cause like, this is kind of green, but this is the teal we all know and love for Twyla. Wow, that is really interesting. I think they started doing the teal for Coffin Bean and it just went with that. But there they are, they look totally different. Even the eye color is different. Like, wow. 
You can only tell it's Twilight because of like the color scheme and stuff. Oh, and the legs. And they went from gray to purple. Even the shoes are kind of similar with the two colors and the kind of bluish and the spider, like the straps and all that. But, and then the hands, this is gray, this is purple. So there you go. There is the comparison between G1 and G3 Twyla. I'm so happy to have both. And I'm especially happy to finally have a G3 Twyla of my own. So if you guys like this video, you can comment, like, subscribe, and also check out other videos on the channel, including Monster High. Oh, we should probably get together our G3 girls. <gasps> Before we show the whole gang, we should probably do some size comparisons. We have the hoodie queens themselves, Laguna and Twyla. Aw, she's small. Look at that. That is adorable. And then there they are together. That's so sweet. Laguna can kiss her forehead. <laughs> and now, let's go over to the tall. The Frankie! And, ah, that's very sweet. Look at that. Wow, Frankie can see like right over Twyla's head. That is amazing. And then we come to the small witches. Drac, ah, and there. Oh, Drac is a little taller. All right, that's very sweet right there. Other her head's jumping. Okay, now let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Twyla is smaller than Drac. That is so adorable, oh my goodness. And now it's time to see everyone together at last. Yay, ta-da. Here is our G3 collection with Frankie, Drac, Claudia, Monster Ball, and Gulia, and Luna, and Caddy, and now Twyla. So put her in right there. Oh, look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous collection we have here. Twyla looks so small right there next to Caddy. But that was our Twyla review. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. And you can also follow us on Tumblr, Dvar, Instagram, and Threads, and check out our books and our Wix sites. And our books are free on Smashwords for the entire month, so check that out. And you can find Twyla for $29.99. She might be at a discount, so definitely do that. And we will see you guys later. Monster. Hi. Oh my goodness, Twyla. Bye bye. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her. Aw, that's adorable. Bye bye. I found your earrings. <laughs> they were on the floor. I don't know why, but they're so tiny. And look, there's a little skull up the top. It's like a little flower. And there's a little, like a little lock with little swirls on it. It's so little. But they're going to be nice and safe and sound because when Twilight's not wearing them, I'm going to put them in one of these. I don't know where the necklace is. I cannot find it anywhere. So she'll just have to be necklaces. But that is fine. And she is doing awesome with her boots on. We kind of blend in there. But there you go. Her earrings are safe. Bye-bye. There they are. Nice and safe in the box.